You may ask what kind of owner I'm going to be. I'm going to be an owner who builds a team that has continued success. We want to create a blueprint for winning. I don't just want to get into the playoffs. I want to win a championship. When I really thought about this, you know, I can make millions of people happy. And what an incredible opportunity that is. And so, you know, that's how I'm thinking about this. You know, I'm not trying to make money here. Okay, like I, I have my business at point 72 and I'm, you know, I'm, I make money over there. So here, it's really about, you know, building something great, uh, building something for the fans, uh, winning. And, you know, I just, I just find this an amazing opportunity and I, you know, I'm, ex I'm so excited for it. Uh, I'm going to let the professionals, Sandy and, you know, the people we bring in, let them run baseball. Uh, I'm sure they'll make recommendations to me and, you know, it, it'll be a, co a collaborative effort. Uh, but ultimately, they're the experts. And, and generally, but, you know, I hold people accountable, just like I do in my business at Point72. And, you know, I ask probing questions and, you know, I expect reasonable answers and it, it'll be a two way conversation. But ultimately, they're the experts. I mean, obviously, a lot of the same people that were that he brought up as players are, you know, now obviously doing great things, you know, with the Mets. Um, plus, he, you know, he's a total professional and, and he's had a lot of experiences in baseball and I've got a lot to learn. And I can't think of a better person to learn from. Well, I'm not going to talk about a budget today. Um, you know, Sandy and I have been in conversations on that. And uh, but what I do believe is this is a major market team, and it should have a budget commensurate with that. Are we going to act like drunken sailors? You know, in 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 the marketplace, no. Okay, so you know, listen. I want to be thoughtful. You know, you can spend a lot of money today, and then tie up your team in bad contracts for the next five years. OK, which, you know, so that's part of building sustainable franchise. You want to make decisions, not what works for the next, you know, 60 games, but works for the next few years. And so, um, you know, we want to be thoughtful about it. I think there, you know, we're in an unusual market today, you know, given COVID, where a lot of teams might and we're starting to see uh, players, you know, maybe being offloaded because of, you uh, financial concerns. And, and I think Sandy and I want to take advantage of that. So I think there'll be lots of opportunities. I think uh, teams are going to want to talk to us and we'll see, what, see what's available. I like what the Dodgers are doing. Okay. I mean, they're really, they have a really strong farm system. They're, they take advantage of opportunities in the marketplace for uh, free agents and trades. Um, I think they run a pretty good business operation too. So uh you know, I think I think that's one team that, you know, easily, uh, you know, seems to make the mark in, in the type of places that I, I want to do the same. So, um, you know, I'm sure there are others, um, um, you know, and but we also want to do it our way. You know, we want to develop our processes, uh, sort of the Mets way with the Mets culture, which is going to be uniquely ours. And and uh, but listen, I'll take a good idea from anybody, you know, and if someone's doing it better than us, I'm going to try to figure out why, you know, we're going to build a professional organization. Um, we're going to build out our processes and, and uh, whether it's analytics, whether it's scouting, whether it's, uh, you know, development of players, um, you know, we want to be excellent in all areas of this game. Um, that's going to require resources. And I'm fully committed to making that happen. Um, you know, I, I'm not in this to be mediocre. You know, that's just not my thing. You know, I, I want something great. And I know the fans want something great. And so that's my goal. And that's that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm not in this for a short term fix. OK, I'm, I'm really like thinking about this of trying to build a sustainable franchise. OK, I don't want to be good one year and bad three years. OK, I want to be good every year. And that's the goal. So, you know, that's the type of uh, business and, you know, team I want to build. But if I don't win a World Series in the next three to five years, you know, I'd like to make it sooner. Then, then you know, obviously, you know, I would consider that slightly disappointing.